Hello world and welcome back to Sevtech Ages of the Sky, where today we are making our first modular machine. Right, so what we're doing is we're making this gateway key. That we need two Corellian pearls, which we have, two slimy bones, which I actually need to go get from the other side, and we're making this catalyst. So we've got the ender pearl, we've got the prismarine, we're working on the shards of oblivion. For that we need shadow gems. We already have the transmutation gem, which I think I left on this table. Yes, I did. And we just need to get more of those shards. Now, I, we've got one already, and we've got two shadow gems. So we need, what, two, eight, six, ten? We need ten more of these, I think. Yeah, ten more shadow gems. So that's what we have to do every night. First, we need to find some way of actually improving this mantle. Because it is getting down just a little bit. But I don't know the, way that the best way we're going to get XP, to be honest. But while we wait for the night times, what we really need to do is working on that modularium stuff. Because we are making one of the things. Now, where did I put those blueprints from earlier? Here. We're making the industrial mill. This is what we're working on next. The industrial mill will make sure that we don't have to use this goddamn millstone anymore. So we don't have to keep using our, our own strength and food. And all the other, all the rest of the gubbins. So we're working on this. Oh, I did take a picture of it. Let me just check on my phone for all the requirements. Here we go. So we need one machine casing. No, two machine casings. One small item input. One millstone, which we obviously have. Four, four machine gearboxes. One small item output. Unfamiliar item, which I'll, which you'll find out on the rotation, and machine circuitry. So we already have the modularium circuit, and we have one casing. Now, how do you make? Is that a creeper? What is that noise? I heard constant hissing. Then it was just like, what was that? That's nuts. I just crap myself, not gonna lie. I can still hear it. Is it just horses moving around? Do I have to execute them? Come back. Who are you? I'm scared now. There's obviously nothing here, but it was scary. All right, so how do you make the modular casing? Modularium plate. How much more modularium plate did I manage to pick up? Eight. Okay, so we can make one more modularium then. On our handy dandy press, which is something we also got last stream. It's already got the plate on it. Lovely stuff. So then what? what's the next thing? Small item input. Small item input. This requires another modular casing. Do all these things require modular casing? Let's have a quick look at that. So we need machine gearbox. Machine gearbox. What have we got? Machine gearbox. That requires another casing and loads of copper gears. What's the, what's the difference? Steel gears. Okay, yeah, we can do steel gears. We got steel. In fact, how much steel do we have? 32. Let's do those four gears now. Is this done? Wow, that, didn't, that did not hang about. So we haven't perfected this thing yet because obviously we have to chuck four on here at a time whenever we need one gear. So we need four gears, that's 16 plates, yeah. Let's have them gears going, take those modular plates. Oh, that gave us two. Okay, so there's one there. Can we do the... Yeah, we can do this straight away then. Easy peasy, getting through fast today. No hanging about. There you go, modular gears. That's, that's all four of them as well. Perfect. Let's go... So if we're going to need more modular casing, how do we make the modularium? I've already forgotten. Modularium. Aluminium, iron, and redstone. Okay. How much are we going to need, though? That's the thing. Um, so we need now the small input. Let's, let's just have a look at all this quick. Small input. What is it? Small item input. Do we need an output as well? Yeah, we need input and an output. So that requires 8, 12, and then that's 24. So that's 24 in itself. Then we need a machinery circuit. Machinery. 
I could spell. That'd be great. Circuitry, that requires another eight. So what's that? 32? I think that's 32. Yeah, 12, 12, 32. And then we need an unfamiliar item, which will, will actually tell us within the blueprint itself, I think. Oops, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> I accidentally hit F1. So basically, I've just set up um, hotkeys for um, the stream in a bit of an awkward way, though. So we also need, what's the unfamiliar item underneath the output? Tiny energy input. Tiny energy input hatch. So that we need another four modularium. So what, we need 36 more modularium. Okay, so let's put another eight, eight and eight. Because then that'll be the full 16, wouldn't it? And then we need alley. Where's the alley? There you go, another eight of this. Let's throw that in there. Now the plate, that's already done. Cool. Now it is night time, so let's do a little bit of fighting before I get too absorbed into all this modularium faff. So let's see, we can do another ritual. Or another another transmutation. Perfect. There's another shard of oblivion. So we only need seven. Yeah, we only need to, no, not even that. We need five. Five more gems, and then we can actually go to the first dimension. And that dimension's quite scary, to be honest. Also, let's chuck these rocks away. Ooh, actually, saying that, we might have a few things to actually compress now. Uh, we can only compress by one. That's a shame. Let's put our 3x3 three three packing mould in. And then let's chuck down nine of these. And that will press that into a shadow shard. Obviously, that still doesn't help us because it only gives us three. We need another nine for a shadow gem. But that's not too bad. We also got an iron sword. Any other iron swords in here? Yes, but not damaged. Okay, let's work on the modularian then. A bit more of that probably is done now. Of course, I didn't swap it round. The water's being rather annoying. So where's the other modularian plates? So let's work on the tiny input hatch first. So that needs four plates. One, two, three, four. Get our plate cast. Wonderful stuff. And then what else was it? We need three LV wires and a redstone engineering block. We might already have one redstone engineering block, which we don't. Okay, we've got to make one of them. That is redstone alloy plane. Do we have any of that left over? Four. Perfect. We've just got enough. Uh, that plate cast is in there. Let's start with that. We've got the modularium plate. Then we also need iron plates. Do we have any iron plates left over? Nope. One, two, three, four. And then I think I'm going to shove that iron back in here just to start going. We only got one, one stack, which is a shame. But that's all right. Not the end of the world. Anything else for the redstone plate? And a vacuum tube. Do we have one left over? We've got three. Perfect for us. Perfect for us. So there's engineering block. And input hatch. We're nearly there now. Nearly there. These, 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 and these. Then we need the inputs and outputs. So we need the small in no small item. Inputs and outputs which is a hopper and then an upper. An upper is literally just a hopper. <laughs> so let's, let's make two hoppers, which requires a bronze gear. Now, how's the bronze doing? Four. Okay, we can only make one bronze gear. Let's make a bit more bronze then. Uh, so where are we going? We were doing the small input, I believe? No, small item input. Small item input. Hopper, one, two of these, turn one into an upper. 
Now we need two of these. Oh, we get oh we get one casing from ah perfect. I've already discovered this earlier, so why am I so surprised? There's an input and there's an output. Easy stuff. So what else do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different things, and we've got we've got that. One of them is this. Is there anything I've missed? Definitely missed something. So we got the controller, yes. We got the machine casing, yes. Uh, small item input, yeah. Uh, yes. Small the millstone, yes. Four machine gearboxes, yes. Small item output, yes. The tiny energy hatch, and now we need the machine circuitry. That's it. I may make an MC stream list streamer list on Twitter so we can find each other. That'd be a good idea. I'd love to be a part of that. I'd definitely this you Risey's introduced me into so many good Minecraft streamers now. <laughs> it's insane. Uh it's just hard finding the time to actually go into everyone's stream, I find. Ooh, that'd be nice. Getting to some serious crafting then. All the wires and plates, I'm not sure how you keep it straight. I'm regularly surprised by the things that I already know. Don't feel bad. <laughs> It does get a little bit complicated, doesn't it? Ah, this is where we need our circuit board. Now, do we already have a circuit board? I don't think we do. I think we used it up for the machine controller. So let us make a new circuit board. Switch these out, put a new blueprint in. Now, what's entailed for a circuit board? One insulating glass, one copper plate, and two vacuum tubes. We've got two vacuum tubes, one insulating glass, and then, what was it, a copper wire? Copper plate. Okay, let's make a copper plate quickly. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Plates are already in there? No gears. Let's do one copper plate. Glad I'm not the only one on Twitch while working. <laughs> You're not welcome to the worky lurkies. We appreciate the lurkers. We love it. So, one plate. Two of those and the insulation. There we go, circuit board. Next, we need the machine casing. So, we do need to make one more machine casing. I thought so. It actually gives us two, which is good. And then we need redstone wire coil. Now, this is what I haven't made before. Two aluminium wire, a stick, and redstone. And there's two different ways of doing it here that look identical, which is strange. So, we do have aluminium. Where is it? There we go. One, two of those, and I believe we have the wire cast. We absolutely do. There you go, two wires. Love those work, lurk, worky, lurky bunch. We do indeed. Can we get an eye work, an exclamation mark, worky, lurky? That's not a bad one, actually. Well, that gives us double. Good to know for the future. Right, wires. We're missing sticks and redstone. Uh, there's a little bit of redstone. Mm, there's a couple of sticks. Boom. Boom. And that gives us two. Not bad. So let's put everything away that we don't need. Don't need that casing. We don't need this. And then we're ready. Now, where do we want to actually put this? We're running out of room very rapidly. Now, it's probably best to just shove it under the power for now. Let's put it in front of our drying rack because it's not really needed. So, sneak preview. Sneak to preview the current... Okay. Something like this. That doesn't seem like a very good system. Uh, one, two... So that's what we're doing. So it looks like we need the four vents on the bottom. Uh, controller, I believe, goes here. Uh, that looks like the circuitry one. Yeah. Machine casing. Oops. Uh green red so I assume that's input and output oops 
But one thing about these sort of things, you can't tell what's a real block. Uh, the millstone and then the power. Hey, it changes color as well. There we go, we've got our first proper multi-block machine. Well, besides the press, I guess. So let's see, blueprint not found. We have to put our blueprint in. There we go. Uh, structure found, industrial mill, status, no match, no re recipe found. Okay, so now what? How does this work? Blocked, okay. So I think we have to pipe in what we want. Let's have a little look at the industrial mill uh, use. So we give it power, obviously. So we can make grout, which is something we definitely want. We can also make, oh, if I have to go backwards now, make the ground flesh, which isn't what I'm really looking for. We can make the flower. That was all more what I wanted. Right, we can make sugar. Blah, blah, blah. What else can we make? Ah, uh, yes, this is what I want to do. Hemp. Let's get rid of all that hemp. How does it work? Do I have to pipe it in, or do I? can I just place it in? Do I put it in the back? Right, I think I have to pipe it in. Well, first, let's give it power. How about that? That would be a good first step, don't you think? A little bit of power. So we need a connector, and we need a relay. And then we already have some cables. So this is going to be some butched cabling, but that is okay. Let's slap that there. Uh, then let's... Let's put a relay about there. We're going to need to build a building soon. That's what I'm thinking. Slap that there. Get some... LV wire going. Now hopefully this doesn't doesn't blow up. Boom. This sh this should have power now. Tiny energy hatch. Like this should have power. So let's 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 try a few things. Let's get a chest. Let's get two chests. One for input and one for output. So if we put one here and one here. I had a chicken sandwich and a salad. Pretty standard meal for me. Sounds pretty nice. Besides the salad, I'm not a big fan of salad, but <laughs> each to their own. <laughs> that is garbage. Yeah, Lulu's just a bit of a numpty though. That's the that's the thing. <laughs> you have to excuse her. So there's things that we need. We need we need pipes. We need our redstone engine, which we used not too long ago. Now where could they be? Right, here's a wooden pipe. We need two wooden pipes, actually, and just wooden pipes. As well as our redstone engine, which I can't actually see. No, it doesn't look like I left it. I had a bit of a lava pool going on here. I had it in the sky. So I definitely picked it up and took it back, unless it just fell into the void. Oh, well, not to worry. Let's make a couple of new redstone engines. Must have done. Yeah, one, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be stained, like it says. There we go, two redstone pistons. So let's test out this new thing. So how we do it is wood. Wood pipes actually act as an input-output. So the clear side, or the, 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 is it opaque? Could be wrong. I've got to switch that around. I'm going to need a wrench. Wrench. Billcraft wrench, maybe? Stone gear and iron. We can do that. I'll explain it in a second. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> it's this. There you go. Let's see if this wrench works. Hopefully it does. Yay. So how these work is the transparent side is the output essentially and this is the input so if i put this here and i need a lever then we want to put the hemp in here if i do this that will start pumping and that should start sucking in there you go and it just instantly shot it out again okay so that's not that I think one more bit's going to go shoot, isn't it? 
No matching recipe found. Do I have to sort of like set this? I'm become very confused now. Wait. That's an output. That's got to be it. <laughs> I'm trying to put it in the output, not the input. Input's green. All right, let's try this again. Did I put that back in there? Yes, I did. Switch that round. Redstone engine. Let's take that lever back. Now let's try it. Hopefully this works. Alright then, as long as Brutus has had his snack, then all is well. He has indeed. Uh, hello? You worked over there. Why aren't you working here? Hello? Is it because I didn't put anything in there? It could be it. Yes, because there was nothing in there. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh. Put something in. Oh, processing, processing. Is he just going to spit it out? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Let's do this now. I might not even have to pump it out. Okay, I guess I do. Please tell me this works. Yes! Hey, we got machine going. There we go, we've got our hemp fibers doing it now. We no longer have to use this awful hand crank. In fact, we don't even have to use this again. Is that a bear? Oh no, it's a wolf. No. Bad wolf. Right, that's that's awesome. That's awesome for us. So I assume we could just, we could just dump whatever we want in here and it'll just grind it up. Okay, so what else? Well, what what sort of stuff? So we want grout. That's what we want to start. Because we want to make that. A little bit bigger. So we need. Let's put a stack of everything in it if we can. Stack, stack, and any more? Yes. So in theory, is that all done now already? Or are you still processing? Okay, so I, ha I guess it has some sort of internal buffer sort of thing. Is it going to keep coming? Does it keep coming out? Okay, it does keep coming out. There's some sort of internal buffer in here, clearly, that we just cannot see. So let's just dump these in and see if something happens. Now, the thing is about these redstone engines, they pump, and you see it was blue to begin with, and then it turns green. So the more it pumps, the hotter it gets. And if it gets too hot, they explode. But the redstone one... The redstone engine, I don't believe, actually ever explodes. Unless it's been changed specifically in this mod pack. But before in Buildcraft, it never exploded. I wonder if there are any other engines. No, just the redstone engine at the moment. So there are steam engines and steel engines and sterling engines and various stuff. That is still pumping. And is that still doing... Let's still just do it. Yeah, that's still doing that. Okay, so it's about to become nighttime again. So let's go on another fighting adventure. Let's see if we can compress something else now. Now, nah, pretzels and carrots and hummus. Not a bad diet. Not a bad set of meals. Right. We can do a bit more. We can put 18 on here. Still not give us gonna give us the nine shadow shards, but that's okay. Hmm, what kind of hummus? Normal hummus. <laughs> You're boring, aren't you? Normal hummus. Right, do where are those other shadow shards? We're literally two off. Hopefully one more night. And we'll be good. 
Wonderful. I'll put those necrotic bones in there as well. Oh, we've got two shadow fragments in here. That's it's not still not enough. Never mind. Never mind. So what do we want to do now? We've got this stuff going. Has any grouts already finished? Oh god, the grouts already done. This thing doesn't hang about. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I could put the grout in here. I'll let the glass finish, and then we'll then we'll stick the grout in. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. And as you can see, we've got a lot further since the last outro we filmed. Don't forget that these episodes are being taken directly from my stream. So head over to twitch.tv forward slash Mondays3 to see how the progression is coming along. If you made it this far in the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.